Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another drawing for you guys and this one's a little bit different. It was just a random thought that I had so I thought it would be nice to put that down on paper and show it to you guys. So without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So as I said, this is another random idea that I had and I don't know how this popped in my head, but I just thought of it. So I had to put it down on paper or at least make the line art on my iPad. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to draw a lady with cat ears, huge hair and a cat tail. And to me, this felt so random, but <laughs> I felt like I just had to make it. So I did because why not give in to your inspiration when you have time for it and when you have the iPad right there to do it. So I started out by drawing her body. I had a specific pose in mind where I had it like sketched out. Next to me is usually a piece of paper where I tend to sketch general ideas on. So that's what I've done. And I was like, yeah, this is kind of the pose that I want her to have with big hair flowing in this direction. So that's what I went for. And on my iPad, I made that work basically. So I did struggle with the clothes here. I know that clothes are definitely something that I want to improve on. I think that for the last while I have been improving on it but I really was trying to make sure that I had the nice clothes for it and I wasn't quite sure how to do that. So I knew I wanted to give her just pants, but for the top, it was a little challenging. So I think in the end, I kind of went back to what I know instead of trying out something new, which is not something I'm happy with, but I do think this style works for this drawing. So went in with, I think this is the lighter skin color again and started out my drawing like this and putting in the shades and the like the dark areas the shadow areas the blush of course we cannot forget about that blush and I was kind of thinking that I really wanted to make her look like an actual cat human being but not from the movie cats don't get me wrong I do not want to draw anything from from the movie cats I've seen the trailers, I have not seen the movies, I've heard horrible reviews about the movie, so I have no intention about actually going to see it. And that makes me wonder, have you seen the movie Cats? If you have, let me know down below in the comments what you personally thought. Because with movies and movie reviews, I do not always believe the reviews, and especially if it's something that I personally really want to see, I'm like, I'm going to see it anyway, and I'll make up a mind about what I myself think of the movie instead of what p other people say, whether they're professional movie reviewers or whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to see it for myself. So I'm just wondering what you guys think. So I do not have great hopes for the movie Cats, so I don't want to see it myself. Not for the foreseeable future anyway. but. I don't know, this was not inspired by the movie, it was just a random thought that I had in my head. And yeah, I think it's quite cute. So what I did is I wanted her to have a very light green color for her eyes. And I think that really looks beautiful with the skin color. Now me and eye colors, I have like green eyes myself. But I love light eyes, so my eyes aren't light really, and I've always wished I had lighter eyes. Now, I could get contacts and, you know, play around with those, like the color changing contacts, the ones where you have like a different eye color than your actual eye color. But no, I like, I like to draw people with light eyes and see how that looks. And I think it would look weird on myself if I would do that to myself. So I don't think it would look quite right. So what I did here for the hair, I wanted it to look as if the hair was kind of like her fur coat. And I really think I got that down. It's like a lioness with like 
but then with like a lot of fur coating on her like I think it's beautiful that beautiful amount of hair in like the light sandy brown kind of shade and that's kind of what I went for as well I wanted it to look like her fur and same for the tail that's why I made the tail in the same color as well I wanted it to be similar to her hair and to make sure that that matched so really happy with that decision and I think it really gives the look like that's her little fur coat thing so that's what I've done I did make sure that the tail was kind of different than the actual hair because the hair you can actually see there's strands of hair and the tail looks kind of smoother and that was done on purpose I didn't think it would look quite right if the tail was covered in like the same kind of hair structure as I've done for her actual hair on the head so that's why that looks different so just wanted to give a brief explanation on that then i continued on to her clothes starting out with her pants and i think i've mentioned this before there are a few colors which i find trickier i think the last one was the mermaid of mermaid last year that was a while ago actually and i've come to think of that but the greens i used in there did not blend as nicely maybe because the area that I used to blend in was quite big as well so that took quite a bit of time and maybe it just dried up before I could blend it um, so yeah I was kind of hesitant to start with the greens here too for that reason basically and I have to say that with that shade of green that I've used I really like how that looks I think it complements her I'm gonna say fur I'm just gonna refer to her like her tail and her hair fur I really think it complements those so quite happy with that I come to think of it now that I'm actually looking at this I don't think I shaded in her belt buckle oh my goodness that is so awful <laughs> how did I not see this oh my god I I totally missed that guys I have no idea why don't know why so yeah done the greens and it actually did not turn out as bad as I thought it would I'm actually quite happy with it and I wanted to give her like a lighter green top as well I'm not sure about the shade of green that I chose for the top maybe I should have gone for either a different color or another shade of green but your sure, hindsight is 2020 and what I've done as well is I wanted to make sure there was something in the background so that's why I made these three lines in the background and I wanted to give them at first I thought three different colors but then I was like no I'm gonna give the top and bottom one like the lightest yellowy green color that I've got to kind of match in with the drawing and then a purple in between there as well so that's what I've done this is my drawing guys I know this is a short video for today but I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next week thank you bye